what is North Carolina agriculture? It's tobacco and turkeys, blueberries and oysters, cotton and world-class wines, and it's more. It's spring flowers and warm showers, warm summers and corn on the cob, a colorful fall season and sweet potatoes along with crisp, cool winter days. This is all part of North Carolina agriculture from the mountains to the coast and all points in between. North Carolina's agriculture is one of the most diverse in the nation. That's possible because of its many different soil types. In addition, the state's farms generally enjoy a mild climate with long, warm summers and cool, generally short winters. Adequate rainfall year-round is more the norm than the exception. In considering geography, farms in the mountains, because of their hilly terrain, are usually smaller, while farms in the east can take advantage of the flat coastal plain and thus be much larger. In between, you'll find farms of all sizes, but the average farm in North Carolina is around 200 acres. North Carolina is a leader in the production of flea cured tobacco, sweet potatoes, poultry and eggs, hogs, turkeys, cucumbers for pickles, farm-raised catfish and trout, blueberries and strawberries, peanuts, apples and cotton. The nursery greenhouse industry, which helps supply our booming population with flowers, plants, and shrubs, is also an important segment of North Carolina agriculture. Our state is divided into three geographical regions, the coastal plain in the east, the Piedmont in the central part of the state, and the Blue Ridge Mountains in the west. The eastern portion of the state is the largest of the three regions. Most of the state's agricultural economy is in this less densely populated region, which has the mildest climate, encouraging a long and for some crops multiple growing seasons during the spring, summer, and fall. A few farms even grow winter wheat during the coolest winter months. This eastern region can boast that it has more acreage planted in field crops than the Piedmont and the mountains, producing most of North Carolina's tobacco, soybeans, corn, wheat, and almost all of the state's cotton. Major livestock production includes hogs, poultry, and beef cattle. Also, the eastern part of the Tar Heel State has become one of the nation's major producers of blueberries. Peaches, along with several other fruits like strawberries, are a large part of the eastern North Carolina agricultural economy. Specialty crops and livestock include catfish, beef cattle, plant nurseries and greenhouses, and muscadine grapes, which are used in the production of wine. Several eastern counties in the central coastal plain, namely Duplin and Wayne counties, have been ranked as being among the top 10 places in the nation in which to farm. The more hilly Piedmont Plateau in the central portion of the state is the most densely populated region, with the larger industrial and economic centers like the Triangle area of Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill, and the Triad area of Greensboro, Winston-Salem, and High Point being located here. And the southern Piedmont is Charlotte, the largest city in the state and one of the largest economic centers in the southeast. As a result of these population centers and the hilly geography, the number of farms and the acreage planted in field crops is less in comparison to the coastal plain. Less acreage means that farmers must produce on less land, with livestock, poultry, egg production, and beef cattle being popular. Most of North Carolina's dairies are located in this region. The climate is slightly cooler and drier in the coastal plain, but still boasts long, warm summers and generally good rainfall, which makes for a slightly shorter growing season in comparison to the coastal plain. The top field crops include oats, soybeans, hay, and corn, and the Piedmont is where the bulk of the state's barley is grown. When we talk about specialty crops in the Piedmont, the Yadkin Valley stretching from the western Piedmont up just shy of the northern mountains is where many of North Carolina's world-class wineries are located. Many types of grapes can be grown here, from Noble and Carlos Muscadine varieties to almost any other grape due to the area's unique soil. In the extreme western part of North Carolina is the smallest of the three geographical regions, the Blue Ridge Mountains. The region features rocky and hilly geography. 
but don't let the terrain fool you as agriculture is everywhere here. Due to Midwestern air flowing in and the higher elevation, the mountains have a cooler climate in comparison to the other two regions, making for a shorter growing season. Interestingly, the southwestern mountains, due to moist southerly winds, being forced up by the mountains, have the highest rainfall on the east coast of 90 inches annually. The hilly terrain here does not allow for large, expansive acreage to be planted in field crops. Thus, the dominant crops are vegetables, apples, hay, and some corn and soybeans. If you've purchased a live Christmas tree in recent years, it's very likely that it came from the North Carolina mountains. Livestock production here includes beef, cattle, dairy cattle, and poultry. Due to the different soil and climate conditions, Burley is the type of tobacco grown, instead of the flu-cured leaf grown in the Piedmont and Coastal Plain. Several award-winning wineries are also located here. North Carolina's exploding population has created a huge market for flowering plants and shrubs, making the greenhouse nursery industry one of agriculture's fastest growing segments. Much of what is grown and produced in North Carolina is also processed here. That creates more jobs and pumps even more money into the state's economy. From pork to pickles, from seafood to salad greens, you can buy it North Carolina grown and processed. You'll find it in your local grocery store and farmer's market, in most cases within hours of being picked. Across the state, agritourism operations such as Pick Your Own Farms and Farm Life Museums have become very popular. In many cases, these enterprises are run by farmers who are expanding their operations in new directions. Many offer tours of their farms. Wineries are especially popular, school groups enjoy the local corn maze, and who doesn't like to pick fresh strawberries in the spring and maybe sneak one or two? Educational opportunities in agriculture abound with the state's community college system and at state-supported universities like North Carolina A&T State University in Greensboro and North Carolina State University in Raleigh. Many of North Carolina's farmers attended one of these centers for higher education. The capital city's NC State University boasts some of the nation's most advanced agricultural research laboratories in textiles, animal husbandry, and plant genetics. North Carolina A&T State University's research farm works with specialty crops in helping small farmers grow them more efficiently. The diversity of North Carolina agriculture crosses the state. As you can see, agriculture is keeping North Carolina growing from the mountains to the coast. <laughs>